if you love the first AR drone but still haven't picked one up yet, rejoice because the AR drone 2 has just hit the shelves. For the 720 DPI front camera, video recording and easier flight controls, it offers a considerable upgrade from its older brother. The design of the drone pretty much looks the same as the first one. The styrofoam indoor hull is good for indoor flying but can still break. We found out that it doesn't like emergency stops and hits from nearby furniture. The drone has two cameras, one front end 720 DPI HD camera and one basic bird's eye camera. While the 720p camera is an improvement on the original drone, the HD quality on the front camera doesn't really give you the cinematic footage you may want. The detail was still quite noisy and it proved to react slowly to light changes. The 92 degree wide angle lens is however great for visibility around you when shooting from some high distances. The bird's eye view camera is lacking in quality and is no comparison to some smartphone cameras on the market as it doesn't give the best results. You can add a USB stick to your drone instead of having to rely on your Wi-Fi to save your videos and it's proved to be more reliable, as when saving to your smartphone you could lose some frames of your video if the Wi-Fi signal were to drop, which can happen if you fly your drone too high. The FreeFly app has six main sections for you to use, including a piloting section for you to control your drone, updates so you can update your drone software, a variety of different augmented reality games, and demos from Parrot for you to learn how to use it. You can also view a gallery of your saved photos and videos with social sharing capabilities, and even the AR Drone Academy where you can learn and share your experiences. We'd like to see bigger buttons in the app on some of the smartphone screens, because if you have big clumsy fingers, you may find it hard to press the control you want, especially during flight mode, as you don't want any accidents to happen. Flying the drone 2 in first person view does take some time and practice to get used to, but it's a lot easier than in the previous versions. You have a full representation of what you see and how you can control it. If you tilt the drone forward, it will fly forward. Tilt it backwards and it will fly in that direction. Its response time has also improved, and with its rotation, navigation and newly introduced flip action, can give you some great movement with your video capture. The drone even has a few games for you to get busy with, using your reality to augment the games, bringing a whole other dimension to your drone. AR Rescue has also been updated for the AR Drone 2, and you can now add more movements to your gaming experience. You may even want to try and convince a mate to get one too, so you can make the most out of the multiplayer games. The AR Drone 2 may seem like a pricey piece of gadgetry, but if you tried making something similar yourself, it's actually quite reasonably priced. We think that you could get some epic footage from the skies above.